Okay guys, to make this project, you need a Raspberry Pi with latest Raspberry Pi OS installed. To install or flash the OS on SD card, you can use Raspberry Pi Imager. You can download this Raspberry Pi Imager tool from Raspberry Pi official website. For a step by step guide, you can watch my other videos of installing Raspberry Pi OS. Ok, after flashing the Raspberry Pi OS on SD card, connect every peripheral to your Pi like display, keyboard and mouse and get access into your Raspberry Pi. Now on your Pi, first you have to set the static IP address. First we have to retrieve the currently defined router IP of your network by typing this command. Then make a note of the first IP mentioned in this string. Now we need to retrieve the current DNS server IP using this command sudo space nano space etc space result.com and into that file you will get your name server IP address. Now that we have retrieved both of our current router IP and the name server IP, now we can proceed to modify the DHCP config to set the IP address. Open up DHCP configuration file using this command sudo nano slash etc slash dhcpd.com and into this file enable the static IP option. Change your interface. My Raspberry Pi connected with my network using the Wi Fi, so I have to mention here interface WLAN 0. If you use wet connection, then keep it ETH 0. Then type your desired IP address here. Now here change your router IP and the DNS IP as same as what we did. Then save the file and exit. Now we need to reboot our Raspberry Pi. After the reboot, type this command on your terminal. Postname space dash i to verify that the static IP address set correctly or not. Ok guys, now we have set the static IP address of our Raspberry Pi. After that, we need to update and upgrade our Raspberry Pi machine. To do this, type this command sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. These two commands will update and upgrade your Raspberry Pi. It will take some time. After the update and upgrading, you have to install the preboxy server on your Raspberry Pi. To do it, type this command sudo apt install preboxy. Ok, now it's installed. By default, the Prevoxy is set up for only work on the loopback IP address. To make it work on your every local computer, you need to configure Prevoxy configuration file. Open up Prevoxy config file using your editor. sudo nano etc slash Prevoxy slash config. And here you need to find listen address. For easy finding, you can use GUI notepad like me. I am using leafpad. Now here you need to replace this text and type here like this. Then save it and exit. Now you have to restart the Prevoxy service by running the following command. sudo systemctl restart Prevoxy and it will restart the Prevoxy service. Now our Prevoxy server is ready to use. Ok, now let's go to a different computer and set up our browser to use this proxy. Here I am in my Windows computer. To set up proxy on your browser, just open up your browser and in browser proxy setting option, use the RPI IP address and the port number is specified for it. This process is different on different browser. You can just google it for your browser. Now to verify your proxy server is working or not, just on your browser address bar type this URL config.preboxy.org If everything is working, then you should be greeted by the screen like this. That means you are now connected with Raspberry Pi proxy server. And guys, if you are greeted by a message saying proxy server is not being used, then you will need to double check that your proxy settings are correct. 